Hello everyone, Arash Jafarzadeh here with a quick brief lesson on the Macintosh operating system. We're just going to be covering the basics, so we're not going to go into a crazy amount of detail. A lot of what I covered in the Windows operating system lesson kind of overlaps here as well, so if you haven't already, be sure to check that out. Um, over here we are in the Finder area, and you can see it says Finder up over here. And uh, this is my desktop on the uh, Mac operating system. The right side, I have some folders that I've put on here. You can see here I have my Macintosh HD, which is my uh, Mac's hard disk drive. We'll cover that in just a moment. Down below, we have our dock. I have some programs that I have put on here, so I have uh, access to them uh, easily and quickly. If you uh, take your mouse on and off, it'll allow you to access it. It'll pop up and uh, up and down, or if you you may have it set up so it just stays there all, all the time. The way we access the settings for our dock and our Mac in general is here where it says System Preferences. If I click here, you can see that it shows me the uh, options for all of the different parts of my computer. If you ever want to add a printer, you can access that here. Your uh, mouse and your keyboard settings are here. Your energy settings if you want to set up your computer as far as when it powers down and powers up automatically. Uh, your display settings, all that good stuff. I'm not going to go into too much detail here today, but if you want to access any of your computer settings, you can do that here. You'll also notice it says dock right over here. If I click there, I can change the size of my dock, make it larger or smaller. When I hover over the icons, whether they're going to grow really big or stay small, all that good stuff. So just play around with it, and uh, you can always set it back up the way it was, and uh, it's pretty pretty fun stuff. So I'm going to close that by clicking that little um, red bubble. And the next thing I want to talk about briefly is the launch pad. Now if I go down to my dock, I see here it says launch pad. And when I click launch pad, it shows me all of the applications on my Mac operating system. So I have quite a bit here, and uh, it's just another way to access your programs. If I click or press the escape key on my keyboard, it gets me out of, out of there. Uh, also, if you're using a track, a, a pad, or if you're using a laptop, if you just take your fingers and put it on the pad and just squeeze them together, it comes up automatically. You can't see my fingers, but basically you're kind of pinching your fingers from the outer part of the pad to the center, and Launchpad appears on its own. The other thing I'll uh, mention is the uh, reminders and the calendar. Those can be really useful. They sync up to your iOS device if you have an iPhone or iPad or iPod Touch. They sync to that, which is pretty cool. Uh, you also have the App Store here, which allows you to purchase apps. Um, you know, if you're looking to get a word processor or other apps that can help you out in the class, we'll cover those later on. But those can be purchased from there. On the top right, you'll notice that I have a Macintosh HD. Uh, that is my computer's uh, hard disk drive. If you double click there, it shows me all of the files and folders on my uh, Macintosh hard drive. And here I have a folder called Applications, Library, System. Uh, this is a little shortcut to the uh, user guides and information and users. So the user accounts would be in here. These are my system files and uh, library items, things that, that relate to my account. And uh, over here we have our applications. If I double click here, you see the same stuff you saw in Launchpad earlier. So if you're kind of old school and you like to use the uh, Macintosh HD, you want to be able to have access to all the files and folders on your computer, um, I will include a link to how you can do that. In, or maybe I'll just mention it in a future video. But for the most part, you can access this by going to your Finder down below here. Or you can just click on Launchpad to see your programs. One other thing that can really help you out when you're using your Mac or Windows or any computer system is knowing how to use shortcuts. That can be very beneficial to you and save you lots of time. I'm going to include uh, an attachment that has all of that stuff for you in this as part of this lesson. But let's say you know I have a couple of uh, windows open here. Let's say actually I'll do uh, this one here. So. Let's say I have a couple of windows open here and I want to go back and forth between them. Um, if I just press Alt Command Tab on my keyboard, it allows me to go back and forth between 
all the uh, different programs. So I'm just holding Command and pressing the Tab key, and I can shift shift back and forth between the different programs on my computer. There's a ton of these shortcuts, and I really recommend that you learn them because in the long run, it's going to save you a lot of time. At first, you might be trying to fumble over the, you know, which one do I use for save, which one do I use for open, uh, but I got to tell you, it will save you a lot of time. So spend some time memorizing those. Uh, one final thing I would recommend as far as apps go, uh, one cool app that I probably won't cover in any videos for a while, but I'll mention here, is an app called iBooks Author. If you haven't worked with it, it's pretty cool. Uh, let me see if I can open a sample for you really quick. So here I have my uh, template chooser, and I have something I've been working on already, but um, there are a whole bunch of templates here that you can uh, work with. So, so let's say I want to create a, uh, use this basic template, so let's just do that one there real quick. And uh, while it's loading, if there's a demand, if you guys are interested in learning about this, feel free to message me or, and let me know because it is pretty fun to use. Uh, so here I can create a digital book uh, using uh, iBooks Author. The app is free from, uh, from Apple. And here I can just take the template they have here and add my own information by just double clicking in the box, you know, and uh, typing in what I want it to say type in my information here. I can easily add pictures by dragging and dropping them. Uh, lots of really amazing cool things. So if this is something that's interested in, you're interested in, let me know. Um, it has widgets here as well. So I can make my book very interactive. You can load it onto an iPad. You can sell it in the uh, iTunes uh, bookstore. Lots of really neat things. So if this sounds kind of interesting to you, do let me know. Uh, but that's about all I'm going to cover with the Macintosh operating system. Uh, take a few minutes to take a look at those shortcuts, and if there are some specifics that you'd like to learn, feel free to message me, and I would be happy to create future lessons that can help you out. See you next time.